everyone, and welcome back to The Return of Obra Dinn. This is episode two, and it begins with a disclaimer. I would just like to have a brief moment before we get into the episode, just to ask for your beloved patience in a playthrough like this, because it's difficult. This is a hard game, and there have already been mistakes made in the first episode that seem very obvious and are right in front of our faces. And sometimes you make very easy mistakes being on camera, thought process going a million miles an hour as you're trying to go through this story. And I just want to say, I will stick the landing. Just, just stay with me, hold my hand and let me take you through this playthrough, but be patient because I have a play style that can frustrate a lot of people. I also frustrate myself with it a lot of the time. Uh, ADHD brain all over the place. I decided to take a very particular uh, method to my madness with this playthrough where I just went, let's go through all the chapters and then we'll get the big picture and then we'll methodically go through it. And that can lead to being a little bit overwhelmed because you're presented with a lot and then you have to go back through with all of the clues. So I laugh at myself. You can laugh at me too, but be nice about it. And I just wanted to say that we will get through this together. I am having a lot of fun with this playthrough. It makes me feel very stupid, but I'm really enjoying the narrative. And I think it's an incredibly well put together experience. And we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. I promise you. So enjoy. Sit back. Hopefully it's not too frustrating for you. And silly little mistakes that have already been made and that you will see get made. We'll, we'll fix it. We'll get there. Uh, I'm not a detective and I'm never going to be one, but we can at least try our very best to be a video game detective in the 1800s and we'll, we'll, we'll solve it. We'll get there. Okay. Sit back, enjoy the episode, enjoy the rest of the playthrough, and it's going to be an interesting ride. That's for sure. Hello everyone and welcome back to the return of the Obra Dinn. This is episode two. Last time we began our investigation into what the hell happened here and we're going to be doing the same today. We've made a little bit of progress, kind of gotten used to the ropes here. Uh, we have discovered bodies in three chapters of this book that we have and I guess we need to fill in all of these, start identifying people, and list their their fates in, in the book. Now we've completed, uh, at least with body count, the doom and a bit of cold, but I guess we need to follow another lead and then to move into the, to the next one. So the last chapter that we've filled in was the doom. And the location of the corpse was here. So so far, the game has sort of directed you or kind of dragged you through these chapters and you find the next thing and the next thing and the next thing pretty close to one another. So I'm not, and we've also discovered all of the, uh, all of the chapters out of order so far, starting with the end and then moving into, you know, other ones. So this is the next one on the main deck. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is another thing as well that's kind of curious is um, pretty sure that this is a body that we've ex uh, we've seen before but the only way to find out is I think if we so I'm really bad at here we go I'm really bad at doing <laughs> uh, this book yeah if you go up to a body and you're unsure if it's one that you have have or haven't discovered yet, you can open the book and it will take you to them uh, if it's one that you've done, which is handy. I guess we should ch choose a chapter and have a look. So we did chapter seven and chapter two. On the cargo deck, we can do loose cargo. So if we take ourselves to the ship, I would say that the cargo would be on the bottom. Arrows indicate the flow of time. This is neat, so you can obviously like whee, take the whole thing back. Yes, the cargo hold, okay. Right down onto the bottom. So I guess let's see if we can go all the way down to the bottom here. And investigate. 
this clue on the cargo deck. Uh, that is closed. There's a staircase here. That is also closed. Okay, interesting. Uh, I guess a plus about this game in terms of what we can investigate is um, it seems not necessarily like super super linear in terms of what is unlocked like we were exploring a couple of chapters uh, concurrently but there will be doors that will open up later after you complete something else so it doesn't look like we can go to the cargo murder outside the first mate's window okay outside the first mate's window please let me go here okay the ship the first mate's window. Okay, first mate on the gun deck. Okay. So if we go in his room and check the window, we should see a body for murder. Alright. So we're on the all up deck. So we head up one. Check out this room here. Use our map to our advantage. So, in here. So this is open. The window. There it is. Our next clue. Go back there. Here, here. Captain! Slack the lifts and lower the boats. The whole crew will be on us. Give it all. Oh, shit. Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm on the top. Oh. And this is why it's at the window. Oh. Hello, multiple people. So he falls down and he's like by the first mate's window. Okay. That fella. Oh, dude. What the hell? Honestly. What? Oh. Okay. Hang on a minute. God damn. Honestly, whenever we ex explore one death or one of these murders, there's like six other things happening just in the surrounding area that's so crazy. And you're like, who the hell are these guys? There's so many of them. Okay. What a setup. There's, there's many witnesses to this one. Return of the Obra Dinn, Chapter 3 Murder Oh, okay The corpse was moved post-mortem, 11 others were present. Who is this? How did they die? Well, this unknown soul met an unknown fate. However, they, it looks like they should be identifiable. Uh, they were shot with a gun, but I actually do not know who. Um, so let's have a look. There was a, uh, there was a female voice. Eleven others were present. Uh, that was the one that was grabbed, I think, because she was the one who was screaming. Interesting. Okay. In that case, this guy, because he's with... Right. This is good, because I think... Who is this guy? Ooh, okay, cool. I think we may be able to identify this one because he's got the important hat on. He does have the important hat on. We will follow the trail. Oh, the trail takes us to the hanged body in particular. Cool. All right. Unleash the mists. Okay. 
This is the one in the in the sketch, right? Okay, nice. I think if we have a look at this sketch, this person has yet to be identified. However, if we just go to, oh, this book, let me tell you. Um, you press so many buttons to like try and go back and you end up closing the book constantly. Okay. Um, okay. This is the captain, first mate, captain. This is the first mate. This is the third mate, which means I feel like we can correctly identify this guy as the second mate. We don't really have, it's still blurred, but I would say just by deduction that this would be our, our second mate. I'm going to try anyway and make him the second mate, Edward Nichols. And he could potentially be the fourth mate. It is either the second or the fourth mate. Because I think this is another one. This one who is clubbed. It's, it's all in the hat. So he's up there. And then Formosan royalty. She was taken hostage while this fella was shot. Apparently, I'm supposed to be able to identify these guys. I just need to be a little bit smarter, I think, in terms of the identification. I think we're kind of going to nail out the, the murders and the bodies, and then I'm going to be able to piece it together with names. I think we've focused more on the on the journey through the, the memories than we haven't actually going, all right, this person's this person. And then I also don't know when this information will come through naturally or whether I just have to use a giga brain thought process to determine who they are. I'm not feeling super smart so far. I'm just kind of getting my bearings still. I'd just be exploring death and remembering it. Now, you have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. Okay, here we go. We've got some good names here. As captain of this ship and by the authority of the East India Company and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Ooh, okay. Ready, men. In. Fire. There's a lot of names here. This is good. This is good. Okay. Mr. Wolf, you are Mr. Wolf. There we go. Okay, you gave the order to fire. Um. You are the one that's crying that nothing was wrong, and then you were hostage in that previous thing. All right, this is good. This is good. All right. Oh shit, that's okay. That's that person. Okay, we'll be uh, we'll be able to identify them. We got our captain. We've got our mates. We've got Willem Dafoe. Oh no, actually, you're the one who gave the order to fire. Your hands in the firing motion. You're the guy. Okay, you got named. You have yet to be named, but you are one of the mates. Good, okay. I feel good about that. Oh. Even the even the goat and the monkey bear witness to the firing line. That was a good one. Murder. This is good. We've got some people. Okay, so this person is Hoxeng Lao. How good is that, guys? I really, like, just needed to work really hard in my brain to get that one. Crazy. Uh, I guess that they were... I was wondering if Executed was going to be here, but 
I guess, shot is just going to be the way that this one works. Expired. All right. Well, they were shot with a gun by, well, I guess it's multiple people. So it was a whole firing line. Who would you, who would you blame? Not blame, but who would you put here? You know what I mean? Oh, there's Christian Wolf, who's the gunner. And then we've got the gunner's mate, so we can start putting that all together. Would you say that it was him? But I don't know if you would say that it was him necessarily, because he gave the order, but he didn't pull the trigger. It's like this weird, like, who done it question. Um, we'll just leave it there for now. I don't think that's essentially correct. But we will be able to name some people. So, what's good is we'll be able to identify people based on where they are from. Um, so with Formosa, I think it's, um, it bangs here. Is this person? I think. Let me just check. Hang on, Miss Lim. Hang on, sorry. That was what I was thinking. Miss Lim. Um, so, uh, Bun Lan Lim. So we've got a correct identification there. Uh, this guy. Aha! This is great, because now we have identified him. So he, he was blasted with a cannon by a terrible beast. He is our gunner, Christian Wolf. <gasps> correct. Well done. Three more fates. Correct. Nice. Christian Wolf Gunner. Solomon Syed Seaman succumbed through a tragic illness and Edward Spratt was strangled by a terrible beast. Awesome. Another three. I, I like the progress aspect of this where it's like, Congratulations, you figured out another three, you know, doing it in threes. I think that's cool. Wonderful. All right. We did it. We've got three more, baby. All right. Where are we going next? Bong. Oh, this was the person that was actually murdered. But apparently they didn't do it. Let's find out the truth. Taking me for a goddamn ride just to get here. Okay. Another body bag. Hello? Who is there? Who is that? Is someone hurt? Senor Nichols, is that you? What are you doing down here? Uh, hello, yes. All fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. Watch what your step. Here, let me help you. Damn, Nichols. That Nichols is the second mate or the fourth one? I think he's one of the mates. Aha, we have identified him. Oh, he killed someone. And then he framed it. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, the plot thickens. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Okay, so this guy, our, our uh, one of the mates, kills this guy and then frames a dude that he was beaten up. And then he's the one who gets shot in the firing line. Ooh, hang on. <gasps> this is the... Ooh. What's going on here? This is the... In the book image. For murder. There's a, there's a shiny artifact in there. It's getting exciting. It's getting exciting. All right. Yeah, this thing. There you go. Ooh, 
Okay. This unknown soul, apparently we should be able to identify them. Uh, hang on, actually. What were they, how were, were they stabbed? Okay, this person did not get named. However, you should be able to identify based on how they refer to him, I think. So, oh man, you need to be, you need to be smart. I'm not smart. You need to be smart with how people like say their titles and stuff. Okay. I do not, I do not know. However, I think that they were, we're going to have to redo let me see. Let's check the memory here. Were you stabbed? Is this a knife situation? This looks like a stabbing. This looks very knife-like to me. So we're going to say that they were... Oh, sorry. One more. No, 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 no. Knifed. Uh, by Edward Nichols, the second mate. Um, and now... I can actually identify you, perfect, as Edward Nichols, the second mate. Um, which is, I think, the one that we said that he was going to be. I was like, you're the second mate. And then the fourth mate is that guy. By deduction. Um, lovely. Now take me back to the crew. And... What we will do is we will identify you. You were clubbed. Oh, you were clubbed, were you? By an unknown attacker. We don't know yet, but I'm going to name you as John Davies, the fourth mate. Christian Wolf. Can't wait to find out who Willem Dafoe actually is. Um, okay, so this firing line. Interestingly enough, you don't identify this body in this image. Damn, it's weird when we've actually seen and walked around <laughs> this specific scene now, because we've seen it take place. It's so cool. Um, how dare you, you, these images not be blurry? How dare I, am I able to identify these, these people? Unbelievable. I refuse to believe that I'm able to identify all of these people. Again. <laughs> All right. Um, I am not that smart yet. Okay. However, look at this. Don't think I can interact with this yet because I have to walk out of the door and then I guess we can go and take a look. Oh, we're in the cargo hold now, which means I can check out the um, cargo hold chapter. Someone found something in, in a drawer that they were not supposed to. And then framed for murder because of it. Okay, something attacker was shot. Uh, unknown soul was shot with a gun. By an unknown attacker. Except they're not unknown because we should be able to identify these people now. So hold on. Oh, I have to go downstairs for that, don't I? Alright. Um, yeah, here we go. It was the second mate. So you... Shot with a gun by Edward Nichols. And then... Do not know who you are. We will, we will have to figure out that deduction. However, I think now that we've got that chapter filled out, we should now be able to go into the cargo hold. No. Okay. Wrong. Damn. All right. 
But there is still that artifact. Alright, let's check out another chapter then. I think the best way to do it is to just open up all of the alternatives, all of our sort of chapters, be able to have full navigation of the ship, and then we can start having, once we have a complete image and we've got the whiteboard and we've got all the red string, we can start naming people. This game is like the premise of like, hey, do you like murder mysteries? Uh, when you have to, you know, spend time solving just one murder? How about 60? Would you like to solve the deaths of every single person on this ship? Have fun. All right, the calling. What's our clue for the calling? This is a big one. Oh, nothing. Damn, okay, no clue. Unholy captives on the cargo deck. Can't do that. Soldiers of the sea. In the port walk. In the port walk. Where be that? Ah, where be the port walk? All right, on the all up deck. We can do that. Arr, that be just to the right of me, that do be. Let's go and check out the port walk. I do love to take a stroll out on the port walk at night. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Well, shit. Oh, hold on a second. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the port. It looks like I'm supposed to be able to walk down there. However, there do be, oh no, never mind. Don't mind me. I thought uh, the path was nay blocked from me passage, but it turns out I'm able to actually walk down here. Investigate. Go, go, gadget stopwatch. <laughs> Shoot the damn thing! Oh. Oh. You get shot through the... <gasps> yeah. Whoa. Alright, what's going on here? Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? Huh? Excuse me? Okay. Ah, identification. What the fuck? All right, this is getting weird. I mean, it was already weird when they got attacked by a fucking uh, Kraken, but like they got a giant sea spider. What? And someone got shot like accidentally, it seems. Or did the bullet like ricochet off its like, I'm assuming it's like crab or crustacean like, did the bullet ricochet? What? What is this called? Unholy creatures, right? No, this is Soldier of the, of the Sea. Oh. Okay. The previous chapter is the unholy one, so they've like... My brain, my brain's getting wrinkled. Um, God, I like having context to some of these chapter titles. So we've got loose cargo, people get sick. There's a murder that takes place. There's something of the calling. Unholy captive seems to be tied to whatever the fuck I just looked at. And then in the next chapter, we've got soldiers needing to like put them down. The, the Kraken comes through. No idea. And then we start getting to mutiny time. But this is just, this is nuts as we're starting to fill in these gaps. I'm like, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, automatically we know that there's like very fantastical elements at play here because of what we witnessed during the doom. But this is silly, silly. Oh my God. Okay. Soldiers of the sea. Uh, well, they, apparently I'm supposed to be able to identify this person. Uh, were they shot though? But it's like looking in that room, it looks like maybe the bullet could have like ricocheted or been shot through. But I'm just gonna say shot for now. But can we say ricocheted off beast? It looks like it could have potentially done that. Like, 
they make for the lazarette, secure the hold, someone shoot the thing, and then there was a, they tried to shoot it. What the? I'm very confused. All right, 11 others were present. The captain uh, and the first mate were there. <gasps> Willem Dafoe was there. This person who was torn apart was there. Smee was there. The person who died. Interesting. Okay. Dun, dun. Ah, yes, let us in. Let me, let me see. Ah, oh, never mind. Who's this? Oh, oh, wait, what? Oh, what? How did you get killed? Oh, it's so weird just seeing like people, bodies in darkness, so obscured. It's very wild being in a situation where you're kind of like, I guess, presented with so many different situations and you have just so much information coming at you at once. Your brain just has to be like, uh huh, what? All right, so this person died here. It looks like, yeah, these are the holes in the wall. There you go, bullet hole. What the? I need to take a look at that murder from another angle. Oh, dude. I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Can you guys, like, refer to each other by... Whoa! Can you guys refer to each other by names, please? Like, just a little bit more often? That would help me, like, tremendously. Okay, so an attack has taken place with... with this. They've captured some sea beasts, they have. Hmm. There's part of it where it's like, I guess if you look at the crew and what their jobs are, is when you'd start getting to, like... Ah, some information, like there might be a butcher <laughs> in relation to this. You have to try and do some deductions based on like what their jobs would be in order to put them in a position like this. Not much to really be gleamed by here, except that this dude definitely was impaled by a by the beast. So I guess we, we would just put beast. Hmm. Soldiers of the sea. I guess the soldiers of the sea is actually referring to these creatures that like fought back against them or something. Okay, this person was um spiked. Okay, they were spiked. Oh, it automatically goes by a terrible beast. They're in three memories. Take him to the carpenters, get him wrapped up and see to the lost rights. Okay, so that's the all up deck one. Spiked. Oh, actually, we might, uh, we may be able to identify then with this in mind, especially these people that are all together. I think Cause he looks kind of like with the with the, the the dress and the overalls he looks like he could be like the main guy a large cow is slaughtered for his meat this might be our butcher hang on this might be our butcher um oh yeah god damn Navigating these pages, let me tell you, I'm a terrible at this. You press one button, you've gone all the way back. All right, I'm pretty sure that this is our butcher. 
Emil O'Farrell. I guess because he's Irish, if you listen to this memory. Could be, could be. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to say that this man has just been killed by the beast he is our butcher. He was spiked by a terrible beast. That's what I'm choosing to deduce with that one. Oh, oh. yes, another body right over the top of the beast. Laying out like the whole, oh, it's laying out the whole beast here as well. Cool. <laughs> oh my god, okay, so that's what it sounds like. Wait, what? You're on fire? Oh god, okay. Get the hand cannon! Oh my god. Oh! You've stabbed it. This is crazy, dude. Oh man, this spike thing happened ages ago. <laughs> Got another person who's dead here with spikes as well. <gasps> Ooh, hang on. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh! More context has been added. Wait a minute. We said that they were shot with a gun. And they appeared there. They just died there. But hold on. They've got a spike in them. They were spiked by a beast. And they've crawled away and bled out on the port walk. A researching previous chapters allows you to deduce further information. There's Henry Evans. People I don't know. Apparently I should be able to identify you. Hmm. Okay. Well, step by step, we're getting answers. Slowly but surely. Okay. Oh, nice, Charles. Well, we know who you are. So you met with an unknown fate. Well, it looks like you were on fire. Burned. To death. Yeah. I mean, that looks like... They lit the beast on fire and he was like on top of it. So I guess we could say burn to death. There's another one. And that's Charles. And we will find out if it's correct when we get another one. Damn, multiple dead bodies in one. Release the mists. Follow the mists. Wee! Take me to the bodies. This is such a cool sense of like mystery and discovery, but it also requires a lot of like genuine, genuine, de great detective work. And we're going to see how we do here. I need to listen to accents as well. Oh, 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 ow, oh, man, oh, that cracking sound. All right, well, there's our butcher. Yep, there you go. Yo, you're wearing a person. What the hell? Oh, man, that is so brutal. I can't even highlight who this person might have been. Well, I think that these must be other people that are... that are like, uh... butchers or... um... in that same crew. So it seems that they're all sort of together. So we've got our butcher... I 
guess that we would start looking at maybe the cook. Hmm. Oh, who? Someone's thrown. There you go. This guy's thrown the fire. The lantern, which has burned it. Okay. Oh my god, this is such a mess. Okay. So these are two fates in one here. Um, I mean, it looks like they've both been not not necessarily spiked, but they've been ah oh, clawed. Clawed? It was their claws. I would say that they were both clawed by a terrible beast. Two memories. First memory would also be... Oh, okay. Damn. Fifteen others were present. You. In the surgeon's room. Okay. Possibly a surgeon's assistant will be here as well. One of them in that room is definitely the surgeon's assistant. Oh my god. Oh, dude, that is so horrifying. What the f Oh, another one who's had death by spikes. I want to see this, like, play out in, like, actual real animation instead of, like, in these still frames because it's nuts. It is very awesome being able to, like, follow the trail of it, though, like, genuinely. My god. Okay. Oh my god. What the hell? Okay. Well, you're about to... You're about to eat that spike. And you are eating those spikes. So, whoever you are... You are getting spiked. And there was a nick. This is so crazy. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, good. oh well, there's multiple. This one's been fucking harpooned. Okay. This one could possibly be Nick. Maybe. Oh, no, and you're also there. God, there's so many dead. All killed. All killed. We will discover it eventually. All right, part three. Well, let me tell you, they had a very unique death. Uh, they were spiked. <laughs> By an unknown beast. Ah, oh, ah, and here's one I prepared earlier. I reckon that this is Nick, based on that description of they've already done him, and then he's the next one. I feel like it, it's a safe assumption to come to. Come on, fancy mist. Take me away. Show me. Oh, come on. Show me where I'm going. Let's have a look at him. Hiya. Okay. Oh my god, and here they come. Wow, so they've actually come up from the ship with whatever the fuck is going on there. That is so, oh, that's so crazy. 
Okay, so soldiers of the sea. So it's like a beast that's being like ridden by like a creature with like a javelin. What? Dear Lord. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon this is Nick. So uh, if we go to the crew, and we have a look at here, and I think this person, um, but it's so hard to find them on this one when you're trying to. Right, where are you on this sh thing? You are... Okay, there's the butcher. You're that guy in that shirt. Okay, so if I go... To this guy. Alright, so I reckon this... Who's Nick? Let's have a look at some names here. I reckon we should definitely be able to identify... Oh! I know who... Okay, hang on. I know who this person is. Wait a minute. Nunzio. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, please let me... Please let me navigate this book correctly. Every time I think I'm about to press the right button, there's multiple buttons to close the book at the same time, depending on which you, which, when you press it. Oh my God. Okay. If we go to murder, this person, um, we know who they are. Um, they are Nunzio because yes. Well done. Three more fates correct. Because when they were saying you're b being on the you're being killed for the murder of Nunzio. There we go. Whee! Yep, Charles burned to death. Nice. That's another three. Can we click on the no. But if we do go here, we'll be able to, I guess, see how they get put into the book. So Nunzio was knifed. This is apparently not true. So this one is not our third one that's true. So they were not shot by Christian Wolf. That's one that we were like, we're not sure. Uh, yeah, so we need to figure out what this... Oh, there must be... Well... A foreign enemy is an interesting one. Because it might not be... It was not one particular person that did the job. It was multiple with the firing line. I might click enemy. Unless there's got to be one here that might be... Hmm. 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 Mystery. Mystery. Do not have it yet. Oh, we need to see what else is... Available. Charles burned to death. Emil was spiked by a terrible beast. Okay. A lot of people carrying in fear. Someone being, someone being thrown. Hey, yeet. yeeted across. God, these soldiers of the CO, buck wild. Okay. That's part two. Uh, well, they were, um, spiked, speared by a beast. Cause I, I guess they were like speared with the claw, right? I would say speared by a terrible beast. Oh, is it you? It's you. The one being flung in the air. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. What's behind the next death? How this ship is even like in in a 
actual state of repair is crazy to me. Any any time now. Articles. Any time now. Okay, I guess you were flung through the air by a terrible beast. Oops. What? Oh, oh, ooh, I'm up high. Whoa, actually struck by lightning. Holy shit, that's crazy. That's how you were flung through the air. What? My god. Oh, holy shit. You can see them on approach. Wow. Struck by lightning. Um, who was the French voice that we we're hearing? It might be you, or it might be one of you. God, there's people present to this one. Apparently, we're supposed to be able to identify you, which is crazy. Um, you are also present here. But so was so many other people. Oh, you were struck by lightning. And then we'll be able to leave through the door. Sail hold up, secure the brace and load top sail up fast. The wind is alive. Were they, was this the person talking though? They were struck. I mean, you would say they were struck by lightning, but apparently not. Um, burn. Well, you, you could be burned to death by the lightning. Um, exploded? Electrocuted. It is electrocuted. Okay. Electrocuted is the right one. Walk through the door. Jesus, okay. Let's see if we can piece together some more deaths. You're in three memories. There's too many people for the bitter cold one. I need, I need more. I need more information. There was a French voice. I just don't know who the French voice belongs to. Okay. Um, soldiers of the sea. Do we have a clue for bargain? Oh yeah, because he said that the bargain chapter is, yeah, will remain unknown until you leave the ship and return to book to me. Right. I've also got goddamn disappearances to think about as well. Wait, I haven't even discovered part eight. Oh yeah, because that's on the cargo deck. Unholy captives also on the cargo deck. So much takes place on the cargo deck. Surely the cargo deck has got to be open to me now. There's multiple chapters that are all connected to the cargo deck. Still closed. Is this open? Yes. All right, we're going down to the cargo deck, and which means I think it's this door. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Interesting. Artifact is gone. Here we go. Okay. This is when we're going to start putting together. Ah. We're going to start having multiple bodies related to multiple chapters in here. Cargo holds a mess. 
so many clues. Far one body is another one I see. Well, whatever's left of it. Um, locked. Rat. But of course. But of kills. Uh, let's investigate the body closest to where we entered, which is one of these fucking things. I guess you're getting... You've been... Impaled. You've been speared. You're in a wrestling match. Interesting. Okay. Who are you? <sighs> this person, okay. I guess I'll need to do more of a solid job looking through my clues to be able to deduce who these people are considering their profiles have not been blurred for some time. Yeah, there you go. Oh, we don't have enough information about this person, but we do know that they were um, spiked, speared by a beast. Speared by a terrible beast. Well, I guess you would call it like an enemy because it wasn't the beast, but it was like a person, like I guess, riding it. So that would even, ah, well, I guess we'll have to find out because there's the one that we've said that speared by the beast on the ship but we've also said speared by a foreign enemy. I'm going to keep both of them separate so that when we name them, we'll be able to see which one is the true, which one is the true statement. Is that, or is this one entity of just all a beast or is there an enemy riding upon the beast? No. That's chapter eight. Now we'll check out the other body in the cargo or the bones. In the cargo hold. Next, putting all the pieces together. All right, next, next body. Keep pressure here. is this? Twenty years, my steward, and never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. Okay. Throw them back or doom us all. Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? <laughs> okay, hang on. All right, well, we definitely have the surgeon's assistant here. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, there's so, oh, there's so many people in here. So many voices. God damn it. All right, let's think about this. This is going to be some kind of... This guy's got to be like security. 
or some sort of thing. This is another thing that I think is really interesting to look through in all of the sort of instances when we're looking at these characters is what have they, what items do they have on them? You know, like what are they in possession of? All right, this is our surgeon. Okay, one of these guys is the assistant. One of these guys is the assistant. Unholy captives. Yep, so they've... They've gathered or taken some things. And then these soldiers of the sea have come to reclaim what was taken, it seems. Okay, um, I don't know how this person died, but they've, lo they've lost a leg. 20 years and never a doubt on your sanity. They carry a curse. Okay. And then all's fine, John, been in worse spots. That's the rest of his leg. Well... Eaten? Did he have his leg eaten off? You know? He's still alive. Well, I mean, do, do we get... Was he given to the beasts and then eaten because he's got bones? Devoured by a terrible beast, maybe? Alright, when we look at the crew, we've got... Let me see. So we've got the surgeon and James Wallace, which is the surgeon's mate. John Davies. We've got a John, that's the fourth mate. So he, the fourth mate must be in that instance there, because I don't know if we've got any other Johns. Yeah, no other Johns. I guess it's interesting that you can nail down some of the, the victims as well by saying that they're an unknown midshipman or an unknown something or other so you can at least try and nail them down to their position okay james wallace well james wallace is one is it's got to be one of these two and i think what we'll have to what we will have to do is make use of the bookmarking system on all of the memories that they appear in so we can identify them uh, in the memories because the surgeon's assistant will definitely be in the chapter with the cold as well so we can at least do it that way We also need to, I guess, remember that we do have a glossary as well. If we want to know what any of these goddamn things mean. Um, foreman in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail a ship. An administrative official accounts for all cargo value and trade transactions. Manages a small item store for crew. See, we've got carpenters, so we've, we've got people that we can be like, well, who are these top man? Higher rated seamen specializing in work above the deck in the sails. Oh, cool. In the sails and rigging. So if we go to that memory of the dude who got struck by lightning, I think we should be able to identify it. We can at least say that they're unknown top men and see where we go from there. Rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel and general moment-to-moment -moment navigation. I don't think we've even gotten close to anything like that yet. Okay, the glossary is just one page. I think the really interesting part is going to come when we've got the whole story sort of accessible and then it becomes a matter of going back through memories to look at the details and obviously the game has told us we need to do some guesswork but we need to be looking at like accents and names and clothing and positions on the ship like it's all a mess this was a quick one not even any speech just straight up oh oh no oh man so they're bringing, oh, 
They're bringing down the injured dude down the stairs and crack. I mean, okay. Well, that doesn't work. That doesn't bode well, does it? Hmm. There's our butcher. Ah, there's our sketch artist. Oh, nice. We actually see what he... There you go. Nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw this later. There you go. Well, you were, uh... I guess, uh, let's see. What, what descriptions have we got here? <laughs> what descriptions have we got here? How did they die? Well, um... Crushed by... Does it classify as cargo? Um, let's see. Fell? Stairs. Fell down the stairs. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Should be able to probably have some sort of idea of what some of these people would be like. Like, these Indian seamen. I love saying it like that. The Indian seamen, the seaman, um, are in the bitter cold one as well. So I think we'll be able to name them in there. Because I remember that coming up. Okay, the, ne the next one who also died on the staircase as well. There we go. And the and the misty trail is gonna go all the way around. It's gonna go all the way around. Gonna make me go all the way around. <laughs> Come on. Us to do this. Doo -doo. Okay, we've got our cook. One sec, gentlemen. There's a free shell here. Let's have a look. No, get back. Oh. Okay, hang on. Oh, oh. Oh, they weren't carrying a body. They were carrying whatever the fuck this is. Okay, well, this is... We know who this guy is. This will be our cook then. And he's like, oh, there's a pretty shell in here. So the cook's next to the butcher. Wonderful. Um, that is a good, that's a good identification right there. We've got a person straight up. So the, the cook was, uh, I don't know. Um... Skewered, clawed, oh, mm, struck. Let's find out. Let's have a look. But we know who this person is, I think. I feel pretty confident with this one. So, the cook. I reckon it's Thomas Sefton. Uh, we're going to go with Thomas Sefton. And I think it was, what is it? Seems like it's like, yeah, struck dead by a beast's tail because it was like, and how it like came up. I reckon that's, I reckon that's that. That seems pretty clear to me. I'm going to mark, I'm going to mark that and then we'll see how we go. And we go even further up. Down here. Oh, okay. More bodies once again with the surgeon. And again, one of these has got to be the surgeon's assistant. Alright, 
game. Take me. Take me to him. Another chapter to assess. Oh, please. Come on. You got this. I believe in you. Imagine the permanent eyesight damage you would receive if you played this game in, like, VR. What the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? Very dangerous. Shell? What shell? What shell? Oh, that shell. Okay, so it shoots spikes out? So that's the voice of the captain. The fuck? Okay. So, oh, hang on. Surgeon's assistant. There he is. That man's the surgeon's assistant. So it is that one. Okay. This dude, I think, was the one that was speaking uh, in English with an accent, translating. But it's tough to tell. Holy Captives Part 1. Oh, they both, they both died in the same way because he was holding on to him. So they were spiked by a terrible beast. They both were okay. spiked. Okay. It continues on to these. I think what we can... What we can surmise is that a lot of these would be fishermen. Okay, let's review. Uh, Thomas Sefton... Fell to your death. You were devoured by a terrible beast. However, this guy is the James Wallace. American James Wallace, the surgeon's mate, clawed by a beast. plenty of others that should be identifiable. This one here um, is definitely of high rank to the point where I think we could even have this one be like the, the bosun potentially. Um, let me see. Glossary. Bosun. Foreman in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail a ship. I feel like that guy might be it. Because he's important and he's around everyone else all the time. He's with these people. He's very close by. Um, but I, th I think I want to put him here. That's what I think. That's what I think. Mayhap. Um, having a look at this area as well. God, it's hard to place a lot of these people. Oh, this is a deduction rating. 
Yep. A higher rating means that it will be more difficult to deduce this person's identity. Focus on the easily deduced identities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. Okay. If they have 12 memories, but three triangles. Damn. Okay. Two. Ooh, that's new. Okay. Ah, all right. So we're going to see some people that are just not good terms of identification like we're like these these people pop up all the time and we should be able to identify them however they are rated quite difficult um okay i want to take this opportunity before we chase the next one is i want to look at a bit of cold and we're going to have a look at some of these chapters so this one is true solomon syed succumbed to a tragic illness now He had a friend that was talking to him. It was also talking to him, I believe, in um, same as the other fellow, some lung disease made worse by the cold. So I feel like the, these were friends, and there was these. Oh my god! And these were the the Indian group. There's three of them, so that makes it a little hard to just throw it on. <sighs> to throw it on just him, but he died due to illness. So we need to put that in there. And it looks like, oh, oh, these three are hanging out all together. Okay. These are our, I think these are, this is our, our Indian crew. Who was crushed by a loose cannon. One succumbed to an illness and the other one fell down the stairs. The problem is identifying their actual names. <laughs> you know, like we can't just, we can't just guess who they are. I mean, the problem is we actually probably could try and deduce who they are by doing this and putting the names in there. And then if the game says, congratulations, you've identified three more people. Well done. Um, so if we were to bookmark this guy. And then. How do we do this? We bookmark memories so we can. Have a look at all the bookmarks. First memory, where 22 others were present, was on the here. Then here. Also here. Hmm. I'll have to see how... Okay. This one did not have any dialogue associated with it. It's hard because you'll need to go through the bookmarks and then maybe see if there's any names that get mentioned. They must have picked it up at the Lascar house. Gave him some modernum. We'll see. Only mention Charlie in this one. This one is different language being taught, uh, being s mentioned, but they're both here. <sighs> this is, we don't know their names, but I think we know that, that the, so he perished in unholy captives, falling, falling down the stairs. Maybe I can just do for now unknown semen and just have it do. Maybe we'll just do that. We'll have them be unknown because I don't. I do not know their names. It's tough to try and review at this point. 
not even sure if this is an entertaining watch. This is a very interesting um, type of playthrough where it's, I'm just kind of, you, you're you just watching a man just trying to figure out <laughs> what the hell's going on with a, mur with a bunch of murders in real time. And I obviously don't have any of the answers, but you guys know, so this is probably immensely frustrating, but we're having a great time. Are we not? We're having a great time figuring it all out. That's our Indian crew right there. And then nearby we were hearing Russian voices and I think it was these people that were like playing and like gambling and stuff. Loose cargo is still not done, but it's on the cargo deck. This is fine. I do not know your name. Moved post-mortem. That's done. We think that this one now that... Okay. Shot with a gun by a foreign enemy. Maybe shot by the gunner's mate. I don't know because like this is the interesting part is we don't know these people. We know how these two died. This guy. This one's another triple. This one should be easy to identify, but it's more so the death. Polling we do not have yet. Considering this group is only four of them, this guy should be like kind of easy to identify, even though he's blurred out, because he should be in the Formosa one. So it's either It Bang Seer or Chiu Tan. Chiltan. Process of elimination. Oh, three more fates. Who did we get right? Let's see. So Chiltan, spiked by a terrible beast. Thomas Sefton the cook was struck dead by a beast tail. And James Wallace, the surgeon's mate, was clawed by a terrible beast. There we go. We've got we've got some more done. We are solving. Slowly but surely, we are we are solving some deaths here. We've identified the surgeon's mate correctly. There you go. Okay, that one was good. We are we are reviewing and seeing how we go, which means by process of elimination, we are now able to identify this character here. Um, so if we go back to the crew, we can now identify this person just simply based on the fact that it's just the last one of it being here. So we have a name of our Formosan royalty. We just need to find out how they go down. Lovely. Got a lot of deaths, but we need to find their names. All right. Let's follow the mist to the next one. Open us up. Where we at? Doo -doo. Ahoy! Well back. Shoot the captain. Ahoy! Come on, the boss. Wait! Don't shoot! I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire! Ah. Oh! Okay. Well, you guys did not hold your fire. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm flying now. 
Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Oh, they're like kind of humanoid-ish. <gasps> like some weird like spiky mer people. Okay, you got a body that's... Oh! <gasps> Look! We know who that person is. They've been identified. Um, okay. Wait! Oh! Interesting. One of the mates has been shot? They wouldn't send one of the mates out. But he's wearing the big important hat. Okay. Interesting. Who's this? Whoa! What? Okay, hang on. Maybe it is one of the mates then. And he killed his friend or his friend... Okay, yeah, the plot thickens once again. This is a thick plot, man. Thick plot. Okay, Formosan royalty has killed one of the one of the mates. The calling. <gasps> the can't shell. Edward Nichols, the second mate, met an unknown fate. Okay. Well, he was shot by a gun. By an unknown attacker? No, it was not an unknown attacker. Um, he is. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait. John Davies was present. Chow Tan. Okay. Was, where was that guy? Okay. Um, by Chow Tan. Edward Nichols was shot with a gun. Um, ahoy. They're back. Get the captain. Cover the boats. Don't shoot. I have treasure. I yield. Hold your fire. And then killed. Okay. Is this guy dead though? I wonder how, what's going on here with his death. Oh. Time to find out. <laughs> He's the next one in the calling. How did this one die? Where are we going, though? Because the body was on a boat, but moved post-mortem. Oh, yes, and brought up here. Okay, so they were all brought up. Um... Dun-dun. Alright, give us some give us some information. Shoot ya. Oh, okay. Oh <gasps> wait. They took the thingy. They took the thing. What? What's coming out of it though? Are you burning to death? Did your arm burn off by touching what's in it? What is going on? Yes, they're like weird, they're like mer people. Oh my god, and then the, like the soldiers from the sea come and get them. It's like some weird Atlantean thing. And then they, they have the Kraken unleashed upon them. And they're messing with some weird artifact. Is the artifact to this conch shell drawing on the chapter? Oh, man. Of course, the, they've got to add a goddamn, like, of course, they've got to add a fucking supernaturally weird element to this to throw wrenches in this one. So this one, I think it was burned. What? Well, like the arm, but... But also, like, expired? No, they did not expire from old age. Um, well, the body was still intact. Um, burned. 
What does that look like that's happening there? Like that looks like it's on fire and then his arm's on fire. But then the body is on the ship and it kind of looks fine. We know who it was. We know who it was, at least. We just need to figure out the, the death properly. It may be a burn to death scenario. There's someone else here. Who's this? Oh, Miss Miss Lim. You're saying, are you there, Miss Lim? Who I guess will also be the third body here. I need answers. I need answers. Damn, well, we're going to see how tensions just continue to get very, very high as we've got people killing each other left, right and center on this ship. Okay, uh, yeah, look, his arm is his arms burned off. So he has burned. Oh, actually, I think he's oh, no, it looks like he was like, also missing his face. Hard to tell in this graphical style sometimes. Definitely has been burned. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. What the hell are you doing? Who's that? Okay. You guys went on the... Wait. I don't know. I don't get how you were killed, though. You're just kind of there. There's so many more bodies here. How are they how are they killed though? They're just lying there. Well, they didn't expire from old age. Hmm. They're just kind of lying there. Did they drown? Could they have drowned while they were out? Did they freeze? Suicide? Um, I don't know. Poisoned? Like drowned by an unknown type. Interesting. So drowned means that someone drowned them specifically. Froze? Did I don't think that would work. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem very clear to me. Like, she's just lying there. It looks like she's got, like, some... It looks like there might be some, like... Blood on the... On the body, but also this guy had blood on his body and he died by having his arm burned off. I don't know. I don't know. Clawed by a terrible beast. Huh. Okay. Edward Nichols, got him. Bunlen Lim. And Ibingsia, burned to death. Nice. Okay, another three have been filled in. So cl they were clawed to death while they were out here, which means all of those other dead bodies, assumedly, have also suffered the same fate. I believe. So if we go back to the calling and we have a look. 
something that is interesting here is it's saying two others were present, right? But there's a shitload of people on these boats here. They should, I guess they're not present because they're dead. So we have to go back even further to when they were still alive. So it seems that any bodies that we're seeing here probably all were clawed to death. The problem is, who do they be? O'Hagan, you're still breathing? O'Hagan. Someone's an O'Hagan. Okay, Nichols, we already know. That's the second mate. O'Hagan. Oh, they're... They're also fucking fighting with each other. This is a mess, dude. Oh. Oh, there you go. God. Okay. Oh, this one was speared. Oh, that's cool. This one might be O'Hagan. O'Hagan! Dun dun. Do, do. I love the music in this game. This one with the pipe. Oh, the one smoking the pipe, though. Alright, two of the firing line men. One, two. Ooh. Two of the firing line men in that boat. O'Hagan. Okay, let me see. O'Hagan is... Just an Irish seaman. I reckon this is Patrick O'Hagan. This one. O'Hagan, you're still breathing. Can you row? Help! Nicholas, sir, shoot them, for God's sake. O'Hagan, you're still breathing. No, actually, hang on. O'Hagan, you're still breathing. Can you row? I don't think that would be someone who's being in the middle of being tussled with. So, O'Hagan is... either this guy... or this guy. And I feel like he'd be the sea, the seaman over here because this guy is. Pr uh, we've got Gunner. And Gunner. We've got Gunner's mate. But I think the ones that would be responsible for doing shooting might be like midshipmen or topmen. Maybe. Fucking, I don't know, man. I feel like all the English ones, all the shooters would be English because it's primarily, I believe, an English vessel. So I think the ones with the the ones with the guns doing the shooting would most likely be English. I feel like this is a Patrick O'Hagan. Um, is he getting? He's getting hugged to death. So... Is he being, um... Strangled? By... Oh, God. What's his name? Strangled by It Beng Sia. I think. I think we'll dock it to a strangling at the moment. Okay, we've got another one here. Da -da -da -da. I am I am really enjoying us being able to fill in some gaps here, which is good. Where is it? Fire! Something there! I see it! Ah. Ah, give us a weapon! Shoot it! Ah. Mike and I! Back up the oars and row, you fools! Oh! Oh! Yo! God, I love the freeze frames. It's so cool. Okay, so the chest is yet to be opened. Um, you are being... eaten. 
Oh, wait. Oh, you're tied together. What the hell, man? Interesting. Okay. Oh, you've been... Okay, you're tied together, but this one's been... This guy's been harpooned. Okay. So he breaks through. Oh, you switch boats. Okay, you jump over to the other boat. You know what? Uh, hmm. That might not be your Hagen, but I need... We need more. God, this is such a cool little time away from the boat, filling in all these, all these gaps here. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we've got a Russian guy, which is... I don't know who... Oops. Uh, we've got a Russian guy, which is this dude. So this is the Russian crew. But in terms of who we have, we've got Leonid Volkov, a top man. We've got Alakis Nik... Nikishin, Alexei Toporov. So we would essentially be guessing, but I would say that he'd be a seaman. So he's one of these two at the moment, uh, which means there's probably the other two Russians would be with him in the whole gambling situation. I do not know yet. These two, I don't know yet either. So. <sighs> this is the one that was, they were speared, or spiked, by a terrible beast. But we do not know the name. We, didn't, we have, you have yet to determine the name. And then... Yeah, and then this guy... Don't know how you've died yet. Who am I looking at? Where am I? Who are we looking at here? I need... Where's the... What, what's highlighted? Everything's very bright in this sequence. Oh. Oops, because I'm supposed to do this first. Silly me. Um, obviously, this one. Keep course due east. You'll reach the Canaries in three days. You've packed enough stores. Aye, sir. Checked and loaded on myself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. That's so Hagen. We've no chance against the Oberdin. Shoot ya! The one swabble! I shut it up! This is strange things! Above monsters! Wow, okay, cool. So they're they're aware of it. And there it is. So they're aware. Okay. Um we can definitely Okay, so this is the guy that's translating. This is the guy that's translating for them. This is the Russian, and this is, yeah, this is O'Hagan. This is our uh, Irish one. This dude's translating for the Ferocian uh, royalty. So, if we are to look at this... If we are to look at this... And go to... Where is he? I always lose where it is when it goes to this, this guy. This dude. I feel like maybe one of the, it's hard to guess, but I feel like it might be one of the, the Chinese ones, I think. Regardless, this guy was speared. Ooh. 
we just don't know the name. I love that there's also the fact that we're finding out how all these people died and trying to like piece together those clues. But then at the same time, we're actually seeing like we're really invested about the actual story that's taking place as well. And what's kind of happened here, which is really cool. Oh, you know what I need to nail down? Because we know that it's like the terrible beast thing. There's definitely in here or somewhere else. There's one where we've put a foreign enemy. I think we need to just replace that. Yeah, speared by a foreign enemy. I need to just have that. I'm pretty sure anything with the spear is just beast related. Okay. Da, 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 da. We can leave now. Don't have your name. We would be guessing this person's name. However, let's see. If we go to a bit of cold, we go to this chapter because this is where this whole crew was here. So these are, this is definitely the Russian crew. This person was shot by Captain Robert Witterall. And I want to say that he's just by sheer hunch that it's Leonid. He's like, because if he was shot by the captain, he would be like the, the top man, maybe. And then, then we've got, hang on, uh, he hasn't died yet. Died yet, I don't think. He's a survivor. What took place? Don't know if I can identify him yet. Okay. What next? Let's walk through. So that's the calling. Hmm. We have another chapter complete in terms of the pages. We've got ah, uh, we've got some disappearances. Yeah, our Russian one disappeared, and our other fire ma uh, firing range man disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are cataloged here. Okay, here you go. That's why. Cool. And I think with that one, that is where we're going to bring the second episode to a close. Thank you so much for joining me for the return to Obra Dinn. I am really enjoying piecing this together. I'm feeling like there are a lot of answers that are probably right in front of me as they are, but we are piecing together the mystery. It's sort of that interesting dynamic of obviously I am piecing this together for the first time and trying to figure it out and you watching me be able to see all of that connective tissue and all of the clues that are in place. You know, you can see which red string is connected to which things and uh, I am at least happy that we've been able to nail down uh, quite a few today. We have been able to nail down quite a few, but there is many, many more to to discover. I'm, I'm having a great time. I hope you're having a great time watching and seeing my brain slowly melt as we work our way through. Uh, but we're going to check out some more chapters and see what other clues we can discover next time. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you then.